Welcome to this lesson on graphs of wave motion. We will investigate how to document the motion of a transverse wave using graphs. Keke will show us the motion of a single particle in a wave. Focus on the pink particle and notice its movement. Do you remember that we said that the motion of the particles in the medium in a transverse wave is at right angles to the motion of the wave itself? We found that each particle of the medium is displaced to a maximum height on the vertical axis, then it moves down past its rest position to a maximum negative displacement, and then it moves back up to the rest position to complete one cycle of movement. Now, this particular cycle of motion is not unique. For example, when this ball is pulled up from its rest position and let go, it repeats the exact same cyclical motion as the particles in a transverse wave. See, it moves to a maximum height, moves past the rest position, to a minimum height and back. But what is it that we've just looked at? That's right, it's the movement of a pendulum bob, just from a slightly different angle. I'm sure you'll agree that it would be very difficult for us to isolate a single particle of matter in a medium. So we are quite lucky that the movement of the pendulum bob is exactly the same as the particle motion inside a transverse wave. We can now use this pendulum to help us analyze the movement of the particles in a transverse wave. And how will we do this? This is called the Explorer Motion Sensor. I hope you realized that these graphs were all about the motion of a single particle in a wave. But what about the motion of the wave itself? We have seen that a particle in a transverse wave just goes up and down. But we know that a wave moves forward. Let's hear more from Keke. Before we end this lesson, I want us to apply the skills that we have developed today by considering the horizontal movement of the wave through the medium again. We know that the wave equation to determine the velocity of the wave is V equals lambda times frequency, or V equals wavelength times 1 over period. We also know that a wave is a series of identical pulses that move through a medium. In a particular medium, the period and the wavelength do not change. What does this tell you about the value of V, the velocity of the wave? Remember, V equals lambda divided by T. If lambda and period do not change, V must also remain constant. This lesson has shown how important it is to know whether you are talking about the motion of a particle or of the wave as a whole. We hope you learned a lot from this lesson on graphs of wave motion. Have a look on the Mindset Network for other lessons on this topic and try the task video. Goodbye.